Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So we have started a series of video for general aptitude part for the upcoming CSR net exam. And in the previous video, I have discussed about probability related questions. I'm explaining the concept in detail and then we are going to the questions, right? So today's video is on arithmetic progression or AP. Uh, this is a this is a part of sequence and series topic which comes in general aptitude. But I just thought of, uh, you know, explaining uh, arithmetic progression and geometric progression separately because uh, questions are asked from both of them. So it's important to understand the concept and uh, try to solve questions related to that. Okay, so let's just start with arithmetic progression. Okay, so it is also called as AP as I have said. Uh, now the thing is that uh, this particular topic or this particular type of questions, uh, arithmetic progression, they are easy to understand or they are easy to uh, see or find out because they will be in some way that they are going to be some series of numbers. Uh, for example, you will be given with some series of number, let's say 3, 5, uh, 7, 11, uh, sorry, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13 and so on. Okay. And then they will ask that what is the 15th number of this series or something like this. So how you will identify arithmetic progression first of all, okay, whether a particular series is in AP or not. So there are different things that can be done for this. But first of all, let's understand that how you are going to find out that whether a progression or whether a series is AP or arithmetic progression or not. Okay, so how you are going to do that, that difference of difference of two uh, alternate or two add uh, two successive numbers basically two successive numbers should be should be same for example in this case if you subtract these two 5 minus 3 you are going to get 2 if you subtract these two 7 minus 5 you should get 2 if you subtract these two that is 9 minus 7 you are again going to get 2 and so on every time whenever you subtract it you are getting 2 so that means the difference between two adjacent numbers or two successive numbers it is always two and that's how you are going to call it that this is arithmetic progression okay so that's the way of finding out so this is how you are going to find out whether a particular series is arithmetic progression or not but what are the types of question that can be asked from here so first thing is that you can be asked to find the next find the next term okay or number of the series okay of the series so that could be the first thing that can be asked second uh, they can ask you that find the nth now this nth can be 10th 20th 30th any number okay so find the nth uh, nth uh, uh, number or term of the series okay term of the series okay so that means they are going to tell you like they are going to give it like this and they will ask you what is the 15th term of this or what is the 20th term of this any term they can ask in that way then the next thing is they can give you a certain information about the series and they can ask you the first term okay find the first term. okay means what is the first number so you will give they will give you some partial series and they will ask you what is the first term of this series that is also one of the way and then they can ask you the sum of n terms of a series okay so they can ask you that what is the sum of first four terms so you can either add them or you can just use the formula i'll tell you how to do that so if you just add all the four terms or if they ask you find that uh, sum of first 10 terms of this series so what is the sum of first 10 terms that's how they are going to ask so these are some general type of questions that can be asked some tricky questions can also be asked so i am just considering it as some miscellaneous miscellaneous questions also okay so this is a simple type of ap or simple type of arithmetic progression there can be a mixed ap or mixed type of arithmetic progression for example you can have something like this uh, 3 2 uh, 5 4 um, then you have uh, or something like this let's let's have something like this there uh, we have six uh, three six five twelve uh then we have seven eighteen uh then nine and then we have twenty one and so on so this particular series 
if you see and if you find out that whether it is arithmetic progression or not so the difference between them is three but there now the difference is minus one uh, there now the difference is seven here now the difference is minus five so the difference is uh, you know like it's not same so it's not a ap as such but this series can be like break down into two series okay it can be written in form of two series one series is like three five seven see all these numbers three five seven nine and so on and the other series can be like six twelve eighteen uh sorry this should be twenty four okay twenty four yeah so uh twenty four and so on so now if you see the difference between these two term is two 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 and here it is six 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 so basically these are two different ap's just stitched together okay so this type of questions can also be asked but you should know uh, you should be able to identify them like how they are there and there is one more type of ap where the terms are decreasing like decreasing ap or uh, decrement ap okay for example uh, you can have something like 32 uh, then you can have uh, 28 then you can have 24 then you can have 20 then 16 and so on so this is also a ap but in a reducing manner or in a decrement manner for example here the difference between these two term is minus 4 these two term is also minus 4 this also is minus 4 this also is minus 4 so this is a series which is decreasing uh, with a constant difference or uh, common difference okay that is four. so i have just explained you that how many types of ap or how many like how uh, ap can be identified but let's now look upon a general type of arithmetic progression okay so a general type of arithmetic progression can have a as the first term like this is how we denote it a plus d a plus 2d a plus 3d a plus 4d a plus 5d and so on okay now we have to understand the terms where a is your first term okay first term of ap d is known as the common difference okay common difference of the ap okay and yeah this is how you do that and we also represent it as n n is the number of term which we are looking upon so then we you have to look for the nth term of ap okay if you want to find out the nth term of ap the nth term of ap the formula is very simple it is denoted by a n first of all and the formula is a plus n minus 1 into d okay this is the formula which you have to find out or which you have to use to find out the nth term okay it is our fifth fifth term so n will be 5 if they are asking about 10th term n will be 10 and so on okay this is one of the formula to find the common difference common difference of the ap common difference is given by d and the formula for that common difference is denoted by d and d is like second term minus okay or a2 minus a1 or a3 minus a2 or a4 minus a3 or a5 minus a4 and so on i mean you just have to subtract uh, one successive term with the previous one so if you subtract the first term from the second term that's a2 minus a1 if you subtract second term from the third term that is a3 minus a2 then uh, if you subtract a4 minus a3 that means you are subtracting fourth term from the third term and so on okay now before going any further let me just quickly tell you that we have launched a course on general aptitude portion for csr net exam so in case if you are preparing for csr net exam and you want a lot many questions to solve so we have around 800 plus questions bank which we have launched on our all about chemistry app and also on our all about chemistry website so you can look upon that the link is there in the description of this video you can directly go over there purchase the course and take the benefit of this and we have a lot many questions from arithmetic progression from sequence and series in that particular course okay so now let's see the next formula which is sum of n terms of ap so sum of n terms is given by or it is denoted by sn and this has a formula of n by 2 
टू ए प्लस एन माइनस वन इन टू डी ओके दिस इज द फॉर्मूला विच वी यूज टू फाइंड आउट द सम ऑफ एन टर्म दैट्स ऑल ओके इन ए पी दीज आर द ओनली फॉर्मूला विच यू नीड टू रिमेंबर एंड दीज टू आर इंपॉर्टेंट वन ओके दिस वन एंड दिस वन दीज टू आर रियली इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर्मूला यू जस्ट हैव टू रिमेंबर दीज टू एंड now i'm going to show you the questions because to understand the question and to apply this formula that is the more important and challenging part so let's include them and let's see how to solve them all right so let's take this first question which is from arithmetic progression it says what is the sum of first 10 terms of arithmetic series where the first term is 3 and the common difference is 4 so we have first term common difference and the number of terms so here a is 3 d is 4 and the number of terms is 10 If you apply the formula for sum of first terms, first n terms, which is S n, which gives n by two, two a plus n minus one into d. If you substitute the values, it becomes ten by two, and then two into three plus ten minus one into four. Right. Uh, if you solve this, you get five. Then you get six plus ten minus one is nine. Nine multiplied by four is thirty-six. Which gives you five multiplied by forty-two, and uh, this gives you um, five two times is ten, and four times is two hundred twenty. So basically, becomes two hundred and ten. Okay, so two hundred and ten is the correct option. Option number B is the correct option for this. All right. So very simple. Just by one formula, you you were able to solve it. And the only thing is that you just have to see that what are the things given to you and Uh, how you are going to apply it okay all right so let's take the next question here it says that if the sum of first 20 terms of an arithmetic series is 1150 and the common difference is 5 then what is the first term okay so you are given with certain information first of all the number of term is given to you as 20 uh, the sum of these terms that means s20 or sn let's call it sn just so that you don't get confused it is 1150 and the common difference that is d is given to you as 5 okay and what is being asked is first term which is a we will use the same formula which is sn is equals to n upon 2 then you have 2a plus n minus 1 into d uh, put the values now so n is 20 divided by 2 then you have 2a you don't know about a in here plus n is uh, like 20 minus 1 and d is 5 okay and sum is 1150 Uh, you can divide this by ten times, so you get eleven hundred and fifty is equals to ten times of two a plus nineteen. Uh, uh, yeah, so you have nineteen multiplied by five here, right? So this ten can be taken in the division here. So one hundred and fifteen divided by ten, and on the other side you will have two a plus nineteen uh, five times is ninety five. So uh, yeah, so you have this. This zero is going to cancel out. This you got one one five is equals to two a, or you can just take this to the other side. So it becomes one one five minus ninety five is equals to two a. Subtract it and you get twenty. Twenty is equals to two a, or you can get a is equals to twenty divided by two, which gives you ten. So that means the value of first term is ten. Okay, so that's how you do uh, the arithmetic progression uh, when the first term is being asked. Okay, all right. Now I'm going to take the last question for this particular video. Which it is again a different type of question from arithmetic progression. It says that the sum of first n terms of arithmetic series is given by s n is equals to three n square minus five n. What is the common difference? Now a lot of things is missing here. Okay, so first of all, you don't know about d here. You don't know about a here. You don't know about n either. Okay, what you know is that s n is given to you as three n square plus Sorry, minus five n. So what you have to do is you have to simply put it in the formula. S n is equals to n upon two. Then you have two a plus n minus one into d. Right? This is what you have to do, and put the value of S n which is given to you. So three n square minus five n is equals to. Uh, just open the bracket. Just multiply. So it becomes two a n divided by two. When this n by two multiplies with this, and plus. n minus 1 into d divided uh, uh, sorry this n is going to multiply here also right divided by 2 this is what you will get 
uh, this and this is going to get cancelled out so you get 3n square minus 5n is equals to this becomes a n plus open this bracket so it becomes uh, n square minus n upon 2 into d right this is what you will get when you multiply here open this bracket again so it becomes 3n square minus 5n okay let me change the color of my pen so yeah it becomes 3n square minus 5n and on the other side you get a n plus when you open this bracket it becomes n square upon 2d because this d will also multiply minus it becomes n d upon 2 okay fine so now what i am going to do is i am going to separate out the terms which contain n and the term which does not contain which contain n square so it is like 3 n square minus 5 n and here i am going to take it first i'll write it down first so n square d upon 2 this is my first term or this is the first thing which i can write down and uh, then i have minus and then i will write down the other thing okay so i will write down n by 2 and minus sorry i'll write down d by 2 basically d by 2 and minus a into n what i have done see from this term and this term i have taken n as common and i have taken minus sign common so that's why this term will become this term only has d by 2 so i have written d by 2 from this term n is taken common i only have are left with a so i have written a here so it is d by 2 minus a then you have to just compare the terms okay the terms which have n square should be equivalent to n square and whatever thing is around it and then minus whatever is 5 so this term should be equal to 5 okay so now is the thing which you have to take care of so that means according to like on comparing on comparing left hand side and right hand side what i am going to get is that d by 2 is equals to 3 so it was asked to calculate the common difference in the quotient uh, what is the common difference so the answer is uh, 6 which should be here okay so answer is 6 and that's your option number d and that is correct option but uh, the thing is that you can even calculate the value of a which is the first term okay so i will suggest you guys to try it all and do let me know in the comment section what you got okay so find the value of find the value of a which is the first okay so try to do it and try to let me know in the comment section what answer you have got and that's all from my side for this particular video i hope you have understood it well and also i would recommend you to check out our course on general aptitude and try to solve more questions from there so that you are well prepared for the aptitude part for the upcoming CSA net exam. So that's all from my side for this particular video guys. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one. Till then, have a great day. Bye-bye. Take care.